Hey guys, I'm Ozia and welcome to a new episode. Uh, in this episode we're going to be creating a new power source from Flaxbeard Steam Power mod. Um, and we're going to convert the steam generated from the boilers into RF power. Um, I've built this uh, new little um, tool room, um, machine room I should say. There's the old one. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, build a boiler room downstairs. Uh, and we're going to run essentially uh, steam power along the outsides. Uh, but primarily we're going to be converting the steam here and converting it into RF probably dumping it into these uh, Ender IO energy pipes. Uh, and before we start, um, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need, apart from all the stuff to build all the stuff, you're gonna need uh, a water source. So I've got an Accus accumulator out there going. Um, and I'm gonna use uh, flash boilers because they generate more power, of course. Um, okay, and they're, they're a two by two multi-block, so you've got this four. You can see it's building up water from the Ender IO water pipes. And from here, what we're going to do is we're going to get some, some, uh, not that, no ordinary pipes, I mean. And we're just going to get it ready to uh, pump the steam into the pressure converter from the Flaxbeard Steam Power mod, which is essentially what converts uh, this steam into um, steam that can be used by other mods, such as Railcraft and so forth. And what we're going to do is we're also going to, build a, like a device I've been working on. It's essentially a uh, don't blow up because we've oversteamed the system. It's a sort of a way of saying if if you get to a certain amount of steam, it automatically releases steam. So we'll do that as well. Uh, so we should do that first. Actually, no, not that first, sorry. First of all, we want to create the pressure converter. So you're going to need uh, four brass plates or four brass ingots, two pieces of leather, two pipes and a glass pane that gets you a pressure converter and just chuck it on to one of your pipes like that and essentially what you do is you put a another mods uh, fluid pipe on here and it will pull out of here obviously if you put buildcraft you're going to need to use a redstone engine to suck the steam out but we're going to be using um, ender io fluid con conduits we're going to grab those uh, tanks out and a void just to show you how this works. So what you're gonna do is just gonna get energy pipe. Uh, we're gonna say, we're gonna right click on the base and say it's a extract and active without redstone signal. So that's active already. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the pipe down and, and across. And then what we're gonna do is, hmm, should I build the tank into the wall? Actually, I'm gonna build the tank into the wall. Okay, let's just clean up this area, make it nice and neat. Um, if you guys know my other videos, I do not make nice buildings. They're usually ugly. So this is probably my first, uh, my probably first true attempt at making an actual nice building. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the tanks down the bottom. You're only gonna need three, you can make four. The higher it is, the, the higher storage capacity of steam you actually have. Um, you're gonna need at least a minimum of two for this. So essentially what we're doing here is we're taking the steam from here, filling it in from the bottom, and then at the top here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a, uh, an, actually we're gonna chuck it at the top. Okay. Clear that dirt up. Like, like so. And put the stone bricks back and get that dirt. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get the Ender IO pipe. I'm going to run it to. Oh, I'm probably going to need to sit and stand on just so I can see what I'm doing. Ender IO pipe on the top one. We're going to tell it to extract as well without a redstone signal. And then we're going to put a buildcraft void pipe right there. So the idea is once uh, the steam gets into this top tank, this one will start drawing it out there. So the idea is we're going to um, essentially use the steam before it gets voided, but if we end up making more steam that's being used, we're not going to blow up the whole system. Okay, so we're going to do on the second one, or you know, higher if you have a higher tank, if you decide to go that way. 
And got there. Put an ender IO pipe there. Tell it to go to extract and with that redstone signal. And I'm gonna go up and to the side like that. And then right here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a steam dynamo. Um, as far as what I can tell, uh, oh, I've got to make it don't I? The steam dynamos are the only ones that seem to be working that I've tested that will uh, accept the steam and actually work. So yeah, I'm gonna run it like that. So it automatically connects up to the endowit conduits uh, and IO conduits and so now we've got everything basically hooked up Ooh, I'm just gonna say this is a uh, an insert only okay that's output that's output that's uh, that's in let's go insert and all we need to do is start putting fuel in this thing uh, I suppose we could put charcoal uh, oak in here oh that's a lot of water used Okay, as you can see it starts filling up the uh, container here and so I'm going to start pulling out once it gets to this uh, middle tank. Okay, a little bit more. As you can see the steam now goes through and starts filling up our steam dynamo and now we're producing power which is neato and the power is going to draw it up into the main system which my main system is full at the moment, so this one should fill up soon. As you can see, it's not getting past this one because we're pulling the steam out beforehand. Okay, this one should fill up, and we should see this mechanism actually start working. Hmm. Okay, so well, it looks like we actually might be using more steam. I mean, we might actually be producing more steam than can we actually make, so here we go. It goes up to the top one, steam gets pulled out. And you can start seeing it's it's getting voided and it's not going up at all so there's a safety mechanism and i suppose you could always use that on any any other kind of um uh, flex beard steam power mod just to make sure you don't explode your system pretty neat yeah and i think that's about it well, let's just see how much steam we're producing yeah we're producing quite a bit so i'm probably gonna need to upgrade the amount of uh the forward pipe for this one as well I oh know it's working fine yeah so once we get all that going uh, yeah I think I'm gonna put some more steam dynamos up there and yeah I think that's a bit for today guys uh, if you like it hit the like it always helps me uh, and subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff and until next time ready aim fire